find the shortest distance from the line 6x plus y equals 9, first degree, so we knew it was a line, to point 3 negative 1, or negative 3, 1. I made a quick graph, because I like to see a picture. That is not necessary, per se. We realize the point here is negative 3, 1. And we realize the point on the line is some x, y. And again, using the distance formula, and I think of it as Pythagorean theorem, I can say the distance between them is equivalent to x plus 3, or x minus minus 3 squared, plus y minus 1 quantity squared. Again, not related on time. If we're going to optimize and minimize the distance, all right, I need to replace y. Well, to graph the line, I knew y was equal to negative 6x plus 9. So I will put that in here at this point now. All right. And I simplify this. And again, the thing I say is if I minimize the distance, do we agree I minimize the square? So I don't put the radical over this, all right, and I don't worry about it. But I say, hey, d is equal to the minimizing the square. I want to minimize this is equal to this. Well, now I'll take d prime. So if I minimize the square, I minimize the distance. Excuse me for the fine analysis. Just would like to announce that Megan Olson is doing a senior project over in Broadhead. She's doing a fundraiser for Lou Gehrig's disease in honor of Matt Carvel. She's selling t-shirts that will uh, be donated to the ALS Foundation at That's the derivative. So, like so I'm going to distribute one. now. I have order forms in the office, and they have to be turned in tomorrow morning by 8 o'clock. And that is the deadline, and I will not be able to order them after that. So if you'd like a t-shirt, I need you to fill out a form, and I will need those before right. 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Because right. that is for me at 12 here, all right. In honor of Matt Carvel. Thanks, and everyone. Have a great rest of the day. All right. Thanks, Tracy. All right, so here we are. E prime is equivalent to that line. Now listen, I don't have to do IVT or anything no. to figure out a range. This is linear. Set it equal to zero. Okay. All right. Well, no, I get 90, 70 force. Once I divide by two, oh, and it's not a, it's not, it's x equals. I get 45 over divide by two, 35, 37. I would say I'm done. 37 is prime, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So I know the x coordinate of my point is 45, 37. Yep. Now I want to prove it the minimum. So I'm going to quickly check on both sides. If I have, and you don't really have to have a table, but if I put 45, 37, do you guys agree that's more than 1? Yes, it's like 1.2. It's 1. Yeah, so I try 1. Do we agree 1 is negative? And I try 2, and do we agree 2 is positive? It goes negative to positive. I can, I can copy my rule, you know, d prime goes negative to positive. Thus, by first derivative rule, what do we have? We have a mem. And how do I find the y coordinate? Well, you just plug it back into the. Yeah, y equals negative 6x plus 9. Plug it in. y equals negative 6 times 45 37 plus 9. All right, and this is definitely a time. Uh, see now, my argument here is you probably want to use a calculator that has fractions. Your calculator has fractions. Let's see what we get for. So using our calculator, we get that y is 63 37ths. So our final answer is 45 37ths comma 63 37ths. And loop. You could do it the old-fashioned way with a midpoint perpendicular line. But that is ugly. That's an ugly answer. All right? It takes a ton of work. This is much easier. Come on, you.